Um, what I'm getting into now, which has not been successful, which I've only been trying it for too much recently, but I've known about it for years, is somehow trying to make money online. Basically, you could say free money, but believe it or not, searching the web and doing all of that, making YouTube videos, these are not fancy at all. This stuff is work, which is why we recommend doing this type of work. You look at the creative works we have in the world, music artists, singer, dancer, director, CEO, business owner, whatever you want to say, artist, drawer, painter, you know, the type of things that actually are creative. These are still considered works. So what does it mean when people can convince you to do something like cut chickens at a chicken farm, pack food at a cold food packaging plant, freezing temperatures, run the desk behind a gas station, stock shelves at a grocery store? What, what, what do these things equate when people don't get these jobs and quit? People get these jobs and they stay there for 10 years. Anyone who quits a job wishes they had another job. Anyone who doesn't have a job wants a job. So the Matrix is truly successfully working on, I hate to say it, but it's like taking souls. Because the same time you need to work is the same time you need to spend with your kids. The time does not change. When you go to work, your life at home does not pause. You simply miss out on whatever's going on. Um, the time you need to meditate is the same time you used when you was at work, when you was off on the weekend, when you was off drinking, when you was off partying. So they truly got us in a position to where it seems though we can't compromise with them, but they can compromise with us. They can tell us, hey man, do you want to work in dairy or do you want to work in frozen? What do you prefer to make per hour? You know, what do you want to be when you grow up? What college do you want to go to? You obviously know that you can't say, I don't want to go to college and I don't want to work a job. What do these things tell you? They tell you that some sort of system have been deployed over you. But I, I got a couple apps on my phone. Very, very slow cash. And I'm also going to get into online click ads and things of that sort PayPal money, Amazon money online business posting links you know that type thing and I do believe it's going to be successful it will be successful, I know it will be successful that's just what I believe now um, I live at home with my parents who are where my stepdad is paying the bills, that's real live stuff, if you don't have somebody to pay the bills, you're stuck out here that's just truthfully unfair. <laughs> um, one thing about life, when you graduate high school, there was no graduate package. There was no young adult package. There was no welcome to life package. There was no one free car. There was no one free house. There was no $10,000 check that said, hey, aren't you a citizen of the United States? Didn't you just graduate? We need to help you out. No, it was more like, well, just go home with your parents and y'all better figure something out. And your parents yelled and said, well, why aren't you going to college? Go to college. Well, why don't you have a job? Get a job. You're a grown man. Help pay some bills. So what do these things tell you? You were born into a system that either has already been created and has succeeded, or it has already tried to help you in the past, and maybe we failed some opportunities. Now we're stuck to where, do you realize you have nothing? You weren't given anything but two parents. And if they had nothing, then you have nothing. And the truth be told, if you were born poor, that might be the reason you never get rich. Because if you don't have money, how would you ever make money? And if you go to a job that pays $7.25 and you get $200 a week, how far can you get at that level, even if you make Eight twenty-five, then nine twenty-five, then ten twenty-five. These people are actually telling you that over the course of ten years, they're willing to work ten, twenty years at a job because they have no choice. Now, when you talk to people in person, they will try to convince you that they're actually making a killing. They will literally tell you how their seven twenty-five a hour job is working for them, and you're like, "But aren't you broke?" And these people will not 
accept that. They're not going to get angry at you. Not Maybe not all the time, but for the most part, these people will actually talk to you about these horrible decisions they've made in life as if they're actually not just satisfied, but somehow they're blessed. This, you know, people will believe they're blessed. And, you know, that, that just, you know, I'm just speaking on how deep it is. Um, like I said, uh, my main source of income will be trying to make money off the internet. I can't, you can't contact me about it. Type it in on the internet. You're going to, you're not going to find out how to make money. You got to work hard, hard, hard till you find something that actually works. That's the whole point. I'm going to tell you right now, you typed in on the internet, home business, you know, just, you'll find the whole nine yards. You're going to find many different things. Either a $99 down, $97 down, $40 a month. But you got to understand, if it's, if it's other people making millions off of it, you can make millions too. But this is the whole point. This is another part of the trick, the scheme. Nobody's giving you money. It's like the only thing you need in life is one handout, but that's why nobody gives them. And if you can find one handout, you'll need that. I just simply call it a boost, a head start, a kick start. That's all you need is that one kick start. So I'm going to find a way to make it work, meaning you just got to find some site that actually ends up giving you cash for advertising, posting your links on Facebook, getting click ads, getting traffic. I'm going to be posting videos on YouTube with a link in my description to my PayPal. And once you come to really enjoy me talking and I've talked on topics and you really connected with it, donate for me. Give me a dollar. I ask for dollar donations. I ask for 50 cent donations, $5, $10, $20 donations. I ask for you to give me what I, what you want me to have, what you think I deserve and what's not hurting you. If you are a bum, if you are homeless, do not come on my video and give me a dollar. If you are a millionaire, if you're rich, if you are well off, if you're satisfied, please donate. 